Okay guys, let's look at how to change bullets to a different bullet style, different color, the spacing of bullets and even Apple emojis. Super easy. Just make sure you have a piece of text and then head to the type tool and select said piece of text. Make sure you have the paragraph formatting controls P selected. And all we need to do to add a plain old bullet point, the circle one, is click on this icon and voila, super easy. Now to add a number, select another piece of text and just click on the numbered list. And voila, super easy so far. Now let's select another piece of text. Every time you have an icon on InDesign, you can actually modify and access more options for that icon simply by clicking on Alt or Option on your keyboard, holding Alt or Option and click. And that will open up a new panel where you can modify your bullets. Here you can choose between bullets again or numbers. And you even have access to different numbering style and Roman numericals. So that's cool. Let's go back to bullets. Now, if you would like to change the color of your bullet point, all you need to do is go to character style, click on new character style and character color. And over here, you'll be able to choose any color existing in design color, or you can add your own swatches, your own color separately and use that as a color. Now click on OK and voila, it is now pink. Now, if you don't want a plain old boring bullet, you can just click on add and InDesign will allow you to find all the font families that you have in your computer and choose any of these to create a bullet point, right? Bullet style. Now, if you search for webdings, if you type W and you search for webdings, it's quite a cool font for bullets. So you can, you know, click on this tick the little pepper, the little cross, the heart, this little dude that's working out, whatever you like. And then you click on OK and you can choose from any of those bullets that you've just added. <laughs> oh, I love the spider one. Isn't it cute? And it's going to be pink. And when you're happy with this, you just click on OK. And then last but not least, we can actually use Apple color emojis for bullets, which is super cool. So again, highlight another piece of text and again, alter option and click on the bullet icon. Select bullets. And now we're going to go to add and we're going to go back to font family and we're going to find a font family called Apple color emoji. Now you might have this built in in your Mac, if you're using a Mac, or you might need to find it externally in places like Daft Font or Font Squirrel or Google Fonts and try and find Apple color emoji or emoticons. And then you can choose any of these cool emojis and use them. Ooh, basketball. Click on OK. And now I can literally use any of these as a bullet, which is cool. Then click on OK and voila, that's it. OK, now say you want to change the spacing or we call it indent in InDesign. You just have to select your text and then you can head to left indent, which means space on the left and just keep clicking and this will push the text to the right. So it's creating a space on the left and you'll see this little spider <laughs> move accordingly. And then the first line indent is actually where the bullet goes. So if you add more left indent and then first line indent, you'll be able to move the position of the spider rather than the text. So you'll see it move over here and that's how you change the style, the color, 
the spacing of bullets and even use apple color emojis. Well done, my friends. If you would like to practice these skills using some cool exercises, then click on the link below to head to my complete beginners Adobe InDesign course. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Adobe tips and tricks. See you soon.